I'm Andrew. I'm Alyssa. And this is Dragon's, Dragon's Adventures. What's going on? We are here at the Best Western Joshua Tree Hotel and suites in Gekka Valley. Uh, we're here for work weekend, um, and this is the hotel we got put up at. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of requirements other than never ever Motel 6. Um, we won't do a shared room in an Airbnb. We used to allow that, but uh, we've had some bad experiences. So uh, I actually now veto Airbnbs altogether because of the impact that they've had on the rental economy. Um, you know, we're recently homeowners in the last couple years, and. Uh, I rented for a long time and, and Airbnb's definitely affected the market. Um, so we won't do that. It has to be a hotel now. Um, and you know, we're not picky, three star or better uh, and, and within a certain mileage distance of the venue. So uh, we're here for the weekend. We're gonna check it out uh, and, and, and show you what we think. Looks like we enter into a kitchen. There's a dishwasher, I'll give them that. Microwave and another microwave. Why are there, why are there two microwaves? Little stove top, cute little kitchenette. Little dining room table, I guess. Dresser slash TV stand. I may have lied in a previous review video. This might be the smallest TV ever in a hotel room. Big corner, AC. Two nightstands, big. This is like a king bed. Nice little, look at that. Boom. I just wanna take a peek back in the kitchen real quick. There is a, oh, it's a full size fridge too. Look at that. It's behind the door, it's an awkward place, but I guess that's the only place they could really put it. There's this weird, I don't, I don't know what to call that. It's just a, a thing. And then behind the bathroom door here, closet. As always, we've already walked in and placed our luggage. A little safe, looks like an iron and iron board. Coming into a bathroom. Again, an, another very strange and odd place. What is that for? What would you ever have put there? They should have just expanded the closet. It's a nice vanity. And then toilet and tub. I do like that the shower head appears to be a height above my head. You know, that's always a problem. And you know what we're gonna do right now because we have to do it in every hotel that we walk into. We're gonna check for power outlets, okay? So I'm gonna start back at the entrance here and then I'm gonna walk through and we're only gonna look for power outlets this time. Right when I walk in behind the weird random second microwave, I do see an outlet there. There's also a couple there for the coffee maker and whatnot. It's, it's so strange to me that there's two microwaves. I don't understand. It's like somebody didn't know that was a microwave and put that one in. Coming in, there's one on the wall, plus one on the lamp. Not too shabbed. Uh, all used behind the dresser for the TV and something else. There's two plugs back there, but... Oh, it's for uh, the cable box. There's one in the corner here. There is one free by the nightstand here. Nothing on the lamp though. And then let's go to this side. It looks like the only one here is gonna be behind the nightstand, yep. And I had to unplug the uh, the alarm uh, uh, to get to it. Full disclosure, we got off the elevator and we heard our, our clock alarm, our, our, our wake up alarm going off. Um, so I just unplugged it because I didn't know how to make it stop. Just coming into the bathroom real quick. There are two outlets here in addition to the uh, hair dryer they've got plugged in. I'm not too mad about the outlets. I feel like at least we've got spots to plug things in. It's better than a lot of the hotels we've stayed in. Um, as always, we're here for two nights and we will let you know what it's like after we've stayed here. Uh, it's a work weekend, we're working a wedding. Um, so we're out in the middle of nowhere, we're here in Yucca Valley. Um, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll let you know what we think about it after we've had a sleep. There is one bowl, one bread plate, and then three full-size plates. That's it. That's all that's in there. We've checked everywhere. 
And I still can't get over the fact that there's two microwaves in here. I, I'm gonna turn them both on and see if they both work. And then I'm gonna go question the front desk as to why this exists. You may have figured it out. As you can see, the microwave is currently running with a timer. This is the built-in, but do you hear any sound? No. It's just a very large and very ludicrous nightlight. All right, guys, uh, I know this is a hotel review, but I would be remiss if I didn't let you know about a place that you can go to that's literally a block away. Uh, Aki Sushi. Mm -hmm. uh, we ordered online uh, on our mobile app and then uh, went and picked it up and brought it back to our, this hotel. And uh, I, I'm going to insert some shots in right here of what we ordered. So we've got uh, a ramen. Alyssa, you want to tell them about the ramen you got? I wish I could remember the name of the ramen. <laughs> I'll put it on screen. Um, but it was really good. I added a, a medium spice to it because you guys know me. I need, I need my spice. It was a perfect amount of spice. It wasn't too much, but I still got that little tingle. Uh, the broth is amazing. Super good. She let me try some. Pork in there. The fish, eggs, uh, no, no. corn. Egg and fish cake. Egg and fish cake. I'm fish so cake. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's what I meant. Fish and eggs. Then, <laughs> and then bro uh, broil, uh, boiled eggs. Yeah, that's hard boiled eggs. Yeah, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but super soup. And the noodles were good too. The oh ramen God. itself. And it's a lot. It was. It's a good. Ton. I mean, you saw it. It's it's huge. <laughs> and then I got a three choice bento box. And it's one main and two sides, but the sides are the sushi rolls that you saw. And then the main, I got spicy chicken. Spicy for me. Not too spicy. I'm not dying right now, but it had a nice spice. Rice and the salad hit the spot. I, I don't know what it is about that Asian dressing that you get at sushi places like that. It's delicious. I'm not mad about anything I got. Everything you just saw, $36 out the door. So it's a great date night spot. The place was huge. We could have dined in, but we wanted to head back to the hotel. It was super cute inside, too. Really cute. <clears throat> um, so yummy, though. Yeah. If you are staying here at this hotel or any other hotel in the area or an Airbnb, I would highly recommend Aki Sushi. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and guarantee it, you will not have a bad time. So this is the pool area. They claim it's heated, but according to Alyssa, it is... It's not, it's not cold, but it, uh, it's chilly tonight. So you want warm. You want a jacuzzi. But this is their jacuzzi right now. It's out of order. Much like the vending machine on the first floor and the guest laundry on the second floor. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's about 7 a.m. Uh, we're going to work the wedding today. I'm gonna grab some breakfast inside, but if I look and sound tore up from the floor up, it's not because we stayed up late partying or anything like that because the fire alarm in our building uh, went off the first time at 1.40 in the morning. We had to evacuate, fire department came. Turns out it was false alarm uh, from a water leak of all things. I'm assuming that means the sprinklers lost pressure uh, to somehow. Got us back in and then it proceeded to intermittently go off until 5.08 this morning. Um, they, they couldn't figure out how to do it and, and I don't want to ding the hotel you know water leak could happen sure what I'm mad about is their company is based out of LA so their nearest technician was two hours away that's an issue um, a lot of people left uh, I'm sure they're getting refunds um, we discussed it by the time we packed everything up and got to the new hotel we probably wouldn't get more than another hour anyway so uh we just suffered through it it was a rough night you guys so guys before i grab breakfast uh and again i just i want to stress because because the fire alarm thing could happen to anyone uh it, it's happened to me several times uh when i was growing up we used to stay in the laughlin i think it was at the colorado bell or the edgewater and the alarm would regularly go off every trip no matter what um, Alyssa and I have stayed at the Silverton Vegas had the alarm go off. It, it's just something that happens. I want you to hold that against them. What I want you to hold against them is the fact that the TV has no sleep timer. I really will not understand. And it's because all these hotels use those cable box controllers. Well, the cable box doesn't need a sleep timer. The problem is they don't put all the settings from the TV into that controller. Uh, to top that off, the power button on the remote control for this TV doesn't work. So I had to actually physically get up, walk over, and turn off the TV, and then walk back in the dark. And that was a bummer. Um, 
the bed was relatively comfortable from what we got to lay in it. I'll, I'll do one more check after tonight and let you know. Um, uh, the pillows are a little wonky. They're those ones that feel real firm, but then are real squishy and then lose their shape and then regain their shape suddenly. And it's kind of like my neck was constantly doing this all night. Um, so that was a little rough. The heater does not work in our, in our room here. I'm going to show you right now. Those normal window AC units, but it has built-in heat, but the turning it to heat either low or high and, and on obviously warmer did nothing but blow cool air. Fortunately, you know me, I get pretty warm anyway, so I wasn't, uh, this time of year, not too bad. But if I was staying here in summer, I'd be really upset about that. Uh, toilet's actually a good height. I rarely say that at the hotel. Toilet's at a good height. Um, they're a little skimpy on their towels and stuff. I don't know if that's a cost-saving measure or um, what, but most hotels, there's always four towels in there, even on a double occupancy room. Um, they, there's literally two towels, two hand towels. I mean, but then again, you saw that we only have one rocks glass and one bowl in our kitchen. Uh, I'm a little upset about the trash cans in here. I would think something with a kitchenette would have a much larger trash can, but instead they just gave us this one, which I have already had to take out twice. And then there's an even smaller one in the bathroom. I don't know, you know me, little touches like that help. Uh, the room is nicely painted. I don't see a lot of chip paint or anything around here. Uh, it, it's a nice room. Uh, it's certainly a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be based off reviews of this place. The staff's been amazing. I mean, they she recognized me this morning when I walked in as one of the zombies from the middle of the night. Apologized profusely about the fire thing. Asked me how I was feeling, how I was doing, if they could do anything for us, yada, yada, yada. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not mad. The staff's great. Uh, but these little things, that sleep timer, man, that drives me freaking nuts. I don't understand why in nearly 2023, every single TV doesn't have that. Um, or at least a Google thing where I can tell Google to turn it off at a certain time. Um, anyway, uh, we are really going to go grab breakfast now. We'll show you all, all uh, what the breakfast spread looks like. Um, and then uh, and we'll let you know how we feel about it. It's a really strange layout. They, they have stuff like milk for the oatmeal far away from the oatmeal and the bread and bagels far away from the toaster I, I don't know I just feel like this was a weird layout Alright guys, so here is the verdict on breakfast. Uh, powdered eggs, but serviceable. The sausage, pretty darn good, especially for a hotel buffet in the middle of uh, absolute nowhere. Uh, pretty darn good. The potatoes though are where it's at. They're, they were the right way you should make potatoes. They're crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, well seasoned, uh, just, just nice. And then we put a little salsa, they had little salsa packets. Um, just to add a little some bagels were a little eggy, but I mean they're obviously store bought. That's not really their fault. Um, tea selection is great. I mean there's like seven, eight different teas down there. Um, I love that. I'm doing some kind of a lemon black tea right now. And it's amazing. Um, uh, this little pastry thing that we got, which was oddly not with the bread stuff, it was in a warmer because it was like freshly toasted, and it was like a vanilla custard inside a croissant with some almonds on it absolutely delicious i i uh, i ate it the rest of it it's gone uh but i want to find out from Alyssa what she thought about the biscuits and gravy okay guys you know how much i love biscuits and gravy and who would have thunk that some of the best biscuits and gravy i've had in a long time was here uh the biscuit was huge i mean big old nice fluffy wasn't dry it was moist um <laughs> the sausage gravy um i mean had chunks of sausage i mean i i was surprised because normally i hate the ones at at hotels and i'm sure you remember seeing some of the reviews they're usually not great but here they were phenomenal i would definitely get them again let me ask you this. Does the biscuit and gravy this morning make up for the fact that we were up from 140 to 508? No. <laughs> it's close. I'm happy. My tummy is happy. <laughs> the rest of me is not. <laughs> but, but good job on biscuits and gravy. Best Western. All right, guys. So that's our weekend here at the Joshua Tree Best Western. 
Uh, final thoughts, Alyssa? Um, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, there are some things wrong in the hotel, but I actually thought it was going to be a lot worse looking at the reviews and pictures and stuff that people had posted. I was like, oh my god, like, what are we, where are we going? But the room was clean. Um, it's spacious. Yeah, it's spacey. Yeah. I, you know, we didn't spend a lot of time in here. It was a room. I mean, the fire alarm sucked. Breakfast was good for the most yes. part. Act- that, it was one of the best yeah. breakfasts I've had, like free breakfast yeah. at a at a hotel. Staff, staff was friendly. Yeah, super friendly. Um, and I actually read reviews about the staff being horrible too, and I didn't find that at all. I didn't either. I actually thought staff pleasant. was great. Um, what about uh, you? Enough outlets here, which is always a plus. I don't like that we have to unplug things that are the hotels in order to plug our stuff in, but at least there's outlets by the bed. Uh, the no sleep timer is an issue for me. Drives me nuts that they use these cable companies that give them this special magical remote, but they don't incorporate a settings button that handles the sleep timer. Because I know the TV has one. I could have gone to the back of it, turned it on that way, gone through their menu system, using channel buttons constantly, and gotten a sleep timer. But I didn't discover that until this morning when I was messing around with it. Um, fire alarm did suck. Seems like plenty of parking. Weird neighborhood. Uh, friendly staff, good breakfast, nice tea selection. That was a big deal to me. I didn't like the pillow. Pillows needed some help. Um, for the most part, though, you know, I'm not mad about it, but I'm not happy about it either. Here's the real question. Would you stay here willingly again? Yeah. I mean, for okay. like an overnight, I mean, especially for a, uh, like doing an event or something or doing a sure, wedding where I'm sure. not here. Like, this isn't a place that I'm like, oh, I'm going to go and relax. We got to go stay. Yeah. <laughs> pool and spa yeah. no this is not one of those places this is uh if i need somewhere to sleep and i'm in this area stop I'm on a road here. trip kind yeah. of thing yeah that's it guys see ya Hey guys, it's Andrew. I didn't mean to interrupt your video, but I just wanted to take a moment to ask you to click that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you could, please do share these videos on social media. And by the way, we love chatting with you in the comments. Let us know what you liked or disliked down below, and let us know what you want to see in the future. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you on the next adventure.